Hello my dear friends, I am again here to tell you all about Virginia Woolf's life story through MCQs. How was her life, what all she wrote and uh, why she is important for literature students. We are going to discuss and uh, we are going to sympathize very much with her because of her life experiences. Okay, So let's begin with the MCQs on Virginia Woolf. Let's begin with question number one. The narrator of the mark on the wall is option A most likely a woman, option B totally ambiguous, option C a child, option D a woman. Here your correct answer is most likely a woman. The narrator of the mark on the wall is most likely a woman. Let's see the highlighters. The mark on the wall is the first published story by Virginia Woolf. It was published in 1917 as part of the first collection of short stories written by Virginia Woolf and her husband Leonard Woolf called Two Stories. It was later published in New York in 1921 as part of another collection entitled Monday or Tuesday. The mark on the wall is written in the first person as a stream of consciousness monologue. The narrator notices a mark on the wall and muses on the workings of the mind. Themes of religion, self-reflection, nature and uncertainty are explored. The narrator reminisces about the development of thought patterns beginning in childhood. Next question number two. What month did she did she see the mark on the wall? Option A February, option B January, option C March and option D December. Here your correct answer is January. On January, she saw the mark on the wall. Let's see the highlighters. An anonymous woman provided a first person account of a lady in the middle of January when she noticed a mark on the wall. Question number three. What was she doing when she first saw the mark? Playing piano, option A. Sewing, option B reading option c and conversing option d so here your correct answer is option c reading she was reading when she first saw the mark highlighter says in trying to recall the exact date of this remembrance she recalls to mind she calls to mind other images from that moment a fire burning the light cast across the pages of a book flowers in a bowl and the fact that she was smoking when she apprehended the mark. Question number four. Virginia Woolf is a familiar name to the English readers. What was her birth name? Option A. Adeline Virginia Stephen. Option B. George Eliot. Option C. Jane Austen. Option D. Emily Bronte. Here your option A is correct. That is Virginia Woolf's real name or birth name is Adeline Virginia Stephen. This is very important question. Please keep in mind. Virginia Woolf's father was Sir Leslie Stephen, the versatile scholar and an eminent Victorian intellectual. He was also the editor of the Dictionary of National Biography. So from her father, she got this surname. Let's move ahead to question number 5. Virginia Woolf was the daughter of Sir Leslie Stephen. She had an odd nickname as a young child. What was it? Option A. The Lioness. Option B. The Goose. Option C. The Wolf. And Option D. The Goat. So here, Option D is correct. That is Goat. Highlighter says there were a large number of children in the household of Sir Leslie Stephen. In her childhood, Wolf 
got the nickname of the goat. Whatever may have been the reason for it, it does not sound altogether flattering. Question number six. Virginia Woolf had a pet dog. What was the name of the dog? Option A. Hans. Option B. Spike. Option C. Spark. And option D. Jimmy. Here your answer is correct. Option A which is correct. That is Hans. Hans is the name of the pet dog of Virginia Woolf. It had a very bad habit of falling asleep at parties. Moreover, it was prone to illness. Here it is about the goat of Virginia Woolf. Question number 7. Virginia Woolf thought of committing suicide many times. How did Woolf try to commit suicide when she was 22? Option A. By poisoning herself. Option B. By jumping from a window. Option C. By hanging herself. And option D. By drowning herself. Here, Option B, that is, by jumping from a window, is correct. She tried to commit suicide by jumping from a window at the age of 22. However, it was an abortive attempt. She did not succeed because the window was not that high. Some believe she developed mental illness because of her family environment. So, just like Sylvia Plath, even Virginia Woolf was suffering from depression and uh, she tried to commit suicide many times but she was unsuccessful. Where did Virginia Woolf obtain her high schooling? Option A. At Notting Hill and Basewater, Basewater High School. Option B. At home. She was homeschooled. Option C. Cheltenham, Cheltenham Ladies College, option D, Rodin. Here, correct answer is she was schooled at home and this is option B which is correct. Let's see the highlighters. She received a board education mainly from her father and to some extent during vacations also from her brothers. She also had the unrestricted use of father's extensive library. She proceeded to King's College London where she followed courses in Latin, Greek, German and history. Question number 9. Virginia Woolf was sexually abused over a period of 7 years in childhood. Who abused her? Option A. An uncle. Option B. No such thing happened. Option C, a neighbor. Option D, her half-brothers. So here, answer is her half-brothers, unfortunately. Let's see the highlighters. James King, the biographer of Virginia Woolf and Lee Mars, the researcher, state that Virginia Woolf was a victim of sexual abuse in her childhood from about age 7 to 14 by her much older half-brothers, sons of her mother, by her first marriage, George and Gerald Duckworth. This said James King left her. This said James King left her with a lasting distrust of men. George Duckworth also abused her sister Vanessa. Lee Mars and James King, researchers and biographer, respectively. This was the view of these two people. She herself confirmed the matter in a letter, Wolf Letters, 12th January 1941. Whether this abuse triggered or even caused her tendencies to severe depression is a matter that has been widely speculated on. Let's move to question number 10. Virginia Woolf was always haunted by a desire to kill herself. What was the name of the river in which she ultimately drowned herself? Option A. Orwell. Option B. We. Option C. Aus. Option D. Same. Here, option C is correct, that is, Aus, where she drowned herself. She committed suicide in 1941 by drowning herself in the water, river water house near Lewis, 
East Sussex, England. She was 59 at that time. Obviously, this was the Sussex house, not to be confused with the better known Yorkshire house or the great house in England, Eastern England. <coughs> Question number 11. Virginia Woolf penned altogether nine novels. What was the title of the first one? Option A, To the Lighthouse. Option B, The Waves. Option C, Mrs. Dalloway. Option D, The Voyage Out. Here, option B is, sorry, option D is correct, that is, The Voyage Out. Let's see the highlighters. Virginia Woolf was a prolific writer. She wrote nine novels and a number of essays. She was an exponent of the stream of consciousness technique. Her first novel entitled Her first novel entitled The Voyage Out was published in 1915. However, the novel was originally entitled Melim Brosia. It was published by Gerald Duckworth and Company Limited. Question number 12. Who's, who is afraid of Virginia Woolf? Was a famous drama of the 1960s. Who wrote it? Option A. Edward Alby. Option B. A. N. Whitehead. Option C. Virginia Woolf. Option D. Lytton Strachey. Here, correct answer is Edward Alby. Highlighter says, Who is afraid of Virginia Woolf? is a three-act play by Edward Albee. It was published in 1962. It is not about Virginia Woolf. The title is a jocular parody of Who is Afraid of Big Bad Wolf. It is about a middle-aged professor and his wife who humiliate and torment one another verbally. In this play, Albee urges us to maintain restraint and practice compassion in domestic life. Question number 13. Wolf had a close association with one of the most renowned literary and intellectual groups of her time. Which was it? Option A. The Bloomsbury Group. Option B. The London Literary Circle. Option C. The Writers Forum. Option D. The Pre-Raphaelite Group. Here your correct answer is option A that is the Bloomsbury Group. Highlighter says the Bloomsbury group, also known as the Bloomsbury set, was an elite group of prominent liberal and left-wing writers, philosophers, economists, artists and critics from about 1907 to 1940. It was established by Virginia Woolf's brother, Toby and his Cambridge friends. The members used to meet in the Bloomsbury area of London to discuss issues relating to philosophy, art, society, etc. It was not a school of any new thought. It was open to almost all the intellectual issues of the time. Virginia Woolf was a co-founder and an influential member of the group. They propounded the idea of art for art's sake. Let's move to question number 14. What is the real song line on which Albies, who is afraid of Virginia Woolf, is inspired? Option A. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? Option B. Who is afraid of the big fat wolf? Option C. Who is afraid of the howling wolf? Option D. Who is afraid of General Wolf? Here, correct answer is option A. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? Highlighter says, however, formidable an opponent General James Wolf may have been to the French at Quebec. He does not occur as a boogeyman in nursery rhyme or in a children's song. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf is from a Walt Disney animated cartoon version, The Three Little Pigs. By the way, General Wolf has his statue on top of the same hill as the old Greenwich, Greenwich Royal Observatory in London. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन वट इज जॉर्ज जॉब एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ न्यू कार्थेज ऑप्शन ए हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर ऑप्शन बी हिस्ट्री लेक्चर ऑप्शन सी हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मॉडर्न फिलोसॉफी एंड ऑप्शन डी मेंबर ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ डिरेक्टर्स सो हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी हिस्ट्री लेक्चर हाईलाइटर सेज मार्थाज डैड इज द हेड ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ डिरेक्टर्स जॉर्ज बीन जॉर्ज हैज बीन एनकरेज टू मेक एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव करियर इन द सेम वे एज इज फादर इन लॉ बट ही इज टू सेप्टिकल अबाउट हिमसेल्फ हिज मैरिज एंड हिज लाइफ इन जनरल एवर टू बी एबल टू मेक अ रियल एफर्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन इन हु इज अ फ्रेड ऑफ वर्जीनिया वुल्फ निक इज अ ऑप्शन ए मैथमेटिशियन ऑप्शन बी न्यूक्लियर फिजिसिस्ट ऑप्शन सी बायोलॉजिस्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी अ केमिस्ट हियर आंसर इज बायोलॉजिस्ट निक इज बायोलॉजिस्ट इन हु इज अ फ्रेड ऑफ वर्जीनिया वुल्फ For contrast and balance, Alby opposes an alpha scholar to be better scientist. Nick and Honey, as a couple, are also more matter of fact than George and Martha, who are hiding in a complicated maze of games in which they finally lose direction. Here, question is: Is it true or false? Question number seventeen. It's Martha who had invented, sorry, who has invited in Nick and Honey. Is it true or false? It is true statement. Martha had invited Nick and Honey. Okay, these two were neighbors of Martha and George, who used to reside in the same uh, area. Martha, who is disappointed about George, their marriage, and their inability to have a baby. is trying to divert herself in more than one way flirting is one of them and nick being new as a staff member might be an interesting experience let's move to question number 18 but before that let me tell you that george and martha they were husband and wife they were not able to have a baby and martha and george they used to quarrel a lot Okay, and Martha wanted to show demerits of uh, George in front of outsider and uh, vice versa. Okay, so here they have especially Martha had called Nick and Honey. Nick and Honey, they are partners. Okay, both of them are husband and wife, and uh, uh, she thought that she will flirt with Nick in order to make George jealous and embarrassed. Okay, eventually their plan was not successful and. Uh, Martha and George had to be disappointed. So, this is the story. Let's move ahead. True and false. It's George's secret ambition to succeed Martha's father as the new head of the board of directors. Is it true or false? It's a false statement. Halida says he is completely indifferent to such a career and even to any career in general. Question number nineteen. Nick is interested in Martha because. he option a sees her as a stepping stone in his career option b hopes she might become a good friend to his lonely wife option c is genuinely in love with her option d is impressed by her supreme talent as a singer so here option a is correct that she he sees her as a stepping stone in his career Here, Nick had married Honey because he was under the impression that he had gotten her pregnant. Martha does not interest him too much as a woman, but she might be useful to him as the daughter of the boss. All the singing Martha does in her version of "Who is afraid of Big Bad Wolf?" Big Bad Wolf. Question number twenty. Honey is rather unhappy in her marriage, and uh, one of the reason is that she has broken off several pregnancies. She has broken off several pregnancies without telling Nick. 
ऑप्शन ए शी हैज हैड अ स्टिल बॉर्न बेबी ऑप्शन सी शी हैड शी हैज अ हैंडी कैप्ड चाइल्ड ऑप्शन डी निक इज नॉट अ गुड फादर फॉर हर चिल्ड्रन हियर ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट दैट हनी हैज ब्रोकन ऑफ सेवरल प्रेगनेंसीज विदाउट टेलिंग निक लेट्स सी द हाईलाइटर्स वॉट वेंट रॉन्ग इन निक्स एंड हनीज मैरिज इज वेरी ऑबियस देर वॉज नॉट अ लव राइट फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट हनी नॉट हैविंग द कंसोलेशन ऑफ अ बेबी पुट्स हर इन टू अ सेवरल पोजिशन एज माथा शी टू ट्राइज टू कवर अप हर सीक्रेट बट विदाउट द फैंटसी वर्ल्ड ऑफ द मोर लिटरेरी कपल जॉर्ज एंड मार्था इन जॉर्ज एंड मार्था सिचुएशन देर सिम्स टू हैव बीन सम म्यूचुअल लव इनिशियली friends by this we have completed virginia wolfs mcqs and uh, if you require any kind of note regarding the examination which is shown here you may contact us and uh, we will certainly make videos on that particular topic and let us know whether our videos are helpful to you all or not especially mcqs then only we can continue this these videos otherwise we will move towards another one another topic so please let us know and uh, we wish you all the very best for your success and uh, we wish you happiness to all of you thank you so much for being with us in our channel